Hi everyone, in this video we will use machine learning to translate YouTube subtitles into different languages. If you are a YouTube creator, a way to reach a new audience is with subtitles in different languages. From the graph on the screen, we can see that YouTube viewers are scattered across many different countries. In order to translate the subtitles, we will create Python functions with the faster Whisper and Deep Translator modules. I am using Google Colab to run this notebook. I recommend either using a web IDE such as Google Colab or setting up a virtual environment. Next, within Google Colab, I am going to change my runtime to GPU for the models that we will use. The way that we do this is we are going to go to the Runtime tab, we are going to go to Change Runtime, and we make sure that we have the T4 GPU selected, save, and we are set. Then we are going to import and install the modules that we are going to use by running each of these cells. Now that we have the modules installed, I am going to briefly go over the models themselves. We have the faster whisper model, and I won't go into the specifics on this one. What I'll just mention is that what we can do with faster whisper is we can upload an MP3 file, and what faster whisper does is it takes the MP3 and converts it into a text file which we can use for captions. Specifically, I have a YouTube video here and I want to create captions from the mp3 file so I can eventually translate those into different languages. Let's go back to our notebook. Once we have those subtitles, next what I'm going to do is run Deep Translator. What Deep Translator can do is it can take our original subtitles, which in my case is English, and translate them into different languages such as German, Thai, Japanese, as well as over 100 plus languages. There are different providers that we can use. In this case, we will use Google Translate to translate the subtitles. And this gets into our application, which is creating translated titles for YouTube videos. The file format that we can use to create these subtitles is called the SRT file. An SRT file is a plain text file and can be used for captions or subtitles. An SRT file contains the text for all captions in sequential order and start slash end timestamps for each caption. The timestamps ensure each section of caption text will align with the video itself. What I'm going to do first in order to get the text is I am going to upload my mp3 file into my files here, specifically in the content, and I am going to drag and drop it into this portion here. And I have my audio mp3 uploaded that we will work with. Next, what I am going to do is I am going to call on Deep Translator and specifically a subclass called Google Translator to see how many different languages are available for our captions to be translated to. I am going to first create a variable called Langdict. And what this is going to show us is it will give us all of the languages that Deep Translator or specifically Google Translate has available for us to be able to convert to. I want to print out the number of languages available as well as each language itself. To quickly explain the code here, what I am going to do first is I am going to take the length of the dictionary that will give us the number of languages available in Google Translator. Then from there, I am going to iterate over the dictionary and we have the key, which is the language itself and the code that corresponds to it. And this will be important when we create our functions. Let's print this out. As of November 2023, we can see that there are 133 languages available with Google Translator. This would include languages such as Afrikaans, Bulgarian, Georgian, and many, many more. Next, I am going to create a function. What this function is going to do is it's going to utilize both Faster Whisper and Deep Translator. First, it will take an MP3 file, translate it to an SRT file. Then from that SRT file, it can translate it to a destination language. For instance, if our subtitles are in English, I can select to have the destination language set as Norwegian. So we will get an SRT file it translated in Norwegian. I am going to call create the function. I'll call it def mp3 to translate it SRT. 
First, we are going to call on the faster whisper model. We are going to call segments and info, and we are going to call them the model to transcribe the MP3 file. From here, we are going to create a empty string that I will call original subs, and we will create our SRT from this. Next, what I'm going to do is create a for loop to go over this segments, and this is going to go line by line from the translation to create a SRT captions file. For first line for our original subtitles, what we will do is we are going to create an F string here, and we have our index position using enumerate, and it is going to go to from one to the end of the segment list, and that is going to be the first heading of each of the SRT sections. Next, for our original subtitles, we are going to call date time, and we are going to call time delta, which is going to be set as the number of segments for the start time. So as we said for the SRT files, if we scroll back up, we have a start time and end time for each of the sections, which is what we are creating first. And we have this little arrow here that we will see what that looks like once we print out the subtitles. And then we are going to have the end time for the specified segment. Next, we are going to write the text in its original language. So we are going to call original subs again. We'll use an F string to write this. And here we are going to write the text itself. And now that we have the original subtitles transcribed, we are going to translate the subtitles into the destination language. I am going to create another empty string called translated subs. Then I am going to call the original subs and I am going to split based on this line break here. And I am going to call translated subs and this is where we call the Google Translator to translate the lines. And the Google Translator function is going to auto detect what language the original subs are in. In, our, in my case, it is going to be English then it is going to translate it to the target or destination language, and it is going to do it line by line as we iterate through. Finally, what I'm going to do is I am going to write both the original subtitles and destination subtitles, meaning for our MP3, I am going to have the original subtitles from the SRT file, so it is going to be English, as well as the translated which in our case, we'll go with German once we run the function. And what we will do is we will use with open to write this into an SRT file. We are going to do it in write mode for both of them. We're going to write the original subtitles and the translated subtitles, and we will have them output here into our content folder. Then we can take a look at them, and we will also get this print statement that tells us once our translation is complete, You'll notice that for my function, I'm not returning anything. What I'm just doing is taking the mp3 file, and then I would just want to have the original subtitles and the destination language subtitles translated and output. Let's call our function. And I am going to take the path of the audio file. I am going to, in Google Colab, hit the three buttons here, copy path, and within a string, paste that here. Then for my destination language, I want that to be in German. So that's DE. If we go back and we scroll down to German, we can see that DE is the code. Let's run this. And we have our translation completed. If we look down here, we can see it took about one minute and 20 seconds. What I'm going to do is I am going to take these German subtitles and I am going to cat them using the cat function because the un underlying operating system used in the virtual machine is Ubuntu. We will call an exclamation point cat, and then we are going to paste the path of the translated subtitle. And we can see here that we have created our subtitle and we have it going down all the way 
and this goes to the length of it. What I'm next going to do is I'm going to download this subtitle locally and upload it to YouTube. Let's go to YouTube. And the way that we can add a language is we have this little button here. I will select it. I am going to select German. I'm going to hit the add button here and I'm going to upload file. I'm going to say with timing because we have that calculated as we can see within our notebook. Here I have my SRT files. I am going to upload them. And we can see how they translate from YouTube. I am going to publish this. Then I can view my video on YouTube to confirm that the subtitles are there. I am going to get, go to my settings button, go to subtitles, and we can see that we have German. And we have successfully added German subtitles to our video. Let's go back to our notebook. Next, I am going to create a function that if we have the SRT files already and we don't need to translate it from an MP3 file, we can just use this function to convert it into different languages. I am going to call this SRT translate. And it will take two inputs. In this case, it's going to be the SRT file. We can use our original subtitles here. And then we can add another parameter, destination language, to the language that we want to translate it to. From here, what I'm going to do first is I am going to open the SRT file using the with open function. And I will start here. With open is going to read the text into a Python string. Then from there, we are going to, like before, create a empty string called translated str. And as it iterates through, it is going to call on Google Translator to translate it to the destination language. Once it's all translated, we will write it to another SRT file. And we will also get this print statement that the translation is complete. Let's call our SRT translate function. And I am going to take our original subtitles here and copy the path. What we can also do is if you go to video subtitles, what Google provides or YouTube provides is automatic captions. So if you've already uploaded a video to YouTube, what you could do is you can download these SRT files and use this function as well. Let's go back to our notebook. And I am going to copy the path again and put that as the first parameter. Then for our destination language, I will translate this to Hindi and it is going to be HI for the code and run this. And we can see that this translation was much faster. It was 16 seconds because we didn't have to translate the audio as well since we already had the captions available. What I'm going to do is call cat again. And this time I'm going to take a look at the Hindi SRT file. Like before, we can see that we have the text, the timestamps, and the index position. I am going to download this again. I'll go to video subtitles, add Hindi as a language, and I am going to publish. We can go back to our video, refresh, take a look to see that it's there, and we can see it is an option now, and we can see the text come here across the bottom of our YouTube screen. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. This video focused on the application. If you want to go more into the theory, I included various references for both Fast Whisper, Deep Translator, and how all of these work. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, X, formerly Twitter, GitHub, Medium, and Odyssey. Thanks again everyone for watching and happy coding.